Hey, welcome to edsguitarlessons.com. I just wanted to share uh, on the Helix uh, a patch that I had in the Pod X3 Live, a very famous patch. Uh, if you play at church a lot, the Lincoln Brewster 18B. Um, I just was looking at my uh, Pod X3, kind of seeing if I can reduplicate the sound in the Helix because uh, I want to transfer. Uh, you know, my plane over to the Helix from the Pod X3 Live. So I'll uh, go through the patches and show you how I set it up, okay? And so uh, anyway, uh, I'll try to play along here for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Okay, here's what I did to uh, get the Lincoln Brewster 18B sound into the Helix. Um, okay, so we'll start with, uh, go from left to right here. Of course, I added a volume pedal, okay. It's easy to do, you just press on this toggle switch, come over, scroll over to you see volume, mono, pedal, boom, okay. Next thing I added, was the uh, dynamic noise gate. Um, same thing, you press on this, scroll over, you'll see the dynamic noise gate right there. Okay, so I added that and uh, put the threshold at negative 64 decibels, decay at 10 milliseconds. The level is at zero decibels. Okay, next thing I added was a British Plexi Jump Amp, okay, um, same thing, go over to Amps, you're just uh, adding the top because we're going to add uh, a cabinet, okay, so a British Plexi Jump, okay, uh, the bright drive is 5.9, NRM drive is 7.1, Bass is 4.6, mids 10.0, trebles 10.0, uh, channel volume 6.9, presence 9.1, master 10, sag 5, hum 5, ripple 5, bias 6.5, and bias X is 5.0. <clears throat> okay, so um, <clears throat> that's what I did there. Next thing was the cabinet. I did 4x12 greenbacks 25 with a 57 dynamic dynamic mic, 1.0 on the distance, low cut off, high cut off, early relic zero, uh, level uh, was zero decibel. Next thing I added was a, dy a dynamic compressor. Okay, you go into compressors and you'll find the dynamic deluxe compressor. I dig ne negative 18.2 dB on the threshold, ratio 6 to 1, attack 38 milliseconds, release 200 milliseconds, mix 100%, level is 2.3 decibels, and the knee is 6.0 decibels. Okay. Next thing I added was the EQ, parametric EQ. Find that in the EQ section, there's a parametric EQ, low frequency hertz was 100, low Q, 0.8, low gain, 9.0, mid frequency, 7.4, mid Q, 0.7, mid gain, 3.9 decibels. Um, high frequency was uh, 2.9, uh, high Q, 0.7, high gain, 1.9 decibel, low cut off is off, high cut off, and uh, the level was zero decibel. Um, I put a simple delay that you can add. I didn't play the delay, but uh, if you want it, it's there. Kind of gives a nice, thicker, bigger sound. Uh, 372 milliseconds on the timing. Feedback's 33%, mix is 38%. Uh, decibel zero, trails are off. And finally, uh, I added a distortion monitor. That's what I used when I was playing the solo. I 
turned it on. It was right here. I also assigned the monitor and the delay to a, a foot switch so I can turn them on and off. One for soloing and the other one for just regular rhythm playing. Uh, but I got the monitor distortion at the gain is 3.3, tone is 6.4, the levels 7.2. So that's how you can set up the foot pedal for the uh, Lincoln 18B patch on the Helix. Uh, it's pretty close. Might not be 100%, but it's as close as I can get it with my ear. It sounds, it sounds, doesn't sound bad. So anyway, thanks for watching Ed's Guitar Lessons.com. God bless you and have a great day.